So we have several of our antique and, 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 and vintage locks um, that don't just open by just turning the key. There are some additional things that you need to do and this is what makes uh, some of our locks and our reputation as an uh, expert in old and vintage locks. Um, so I'll just show you how we kind of open some of these locks. So this is a really simple what we call um, a Mickey Mouse ear lock and if you put the key in move the cover or the escutcheon over it, the lock doesn't open so what you need to do to open it properly is to just move that a few millimeters over and then once that's moved over you can then turn the key and that opens the lock up there and uh, i'll show you another one that we have this one here large big one you think right that's really obvious that's where the key goes in but the key but the key doesn't fit in what you have to do is to lift this cover over lift it up and over and then you have the lock there that allows you to get the key in. Uh, turn it round and it opens up there. Close it and we'll take the lock out there. So that's one of the ones that we have. And I'll just show you the last one. Now this is one that we're, uh, we got from our supplies in India and uh, we couldn't find the keyhole at all. And I had to end up taking it back over to India to find out how it works. And how this one opens is obviously got the key here, but there's nowhere to put the key. And what there is is a little rivet there uh, that, is, that has a spring mechanism but to activate it. All you do is to just put something sharp underneath, raise it up, and that releases the, um, the keyhole there. And then from there, you can then put the key in. So there we have a whole variety of locks in different styles, different materials, and they open in, in, in different ways. And that's kind of how we've kind of got a reputation as, as being experts in vintage and old locks. Um, so yeah, all of these locks are available on the website to buy.